So there are some growing concerns this morning about a rare infection and a disturbing number of cases. So, so far this year, health officials say at least a dozen people have died from a flesh-eating bacteria making its way across the United States. That includes a recent death in the Northeast. Xavier Walton joins us live from Florida this morning where the state health department has reported at least 26 cases statewide this year. Hey, Xavier. Marky, good morning. And of those 26, five have been fatal. And health officials are saying you got to worry about areas like where we are this morning here on Pelican Harbor. Just over there, if you look where that brown building is off to the left, that's where it connects to Little River. And that's where health officials say you really got to be concerned. As cases of this rare flesh eating bacteria go up, so does concern from health officials. It is extremely dangerous. According to the Florida Health Department, this year, five people in the Tampa area have died from the Vibrio funificus bacteria, the same bacteria being blamed for three deaths in the Northeast. New York Governor Kathy Hochul telling people to stay vigilant and take responsible precautions. She says the virus was detected in a Long Island resident that recently died. In Connecticut, the state's health department there saying two people were were killed because of the bacteria. We have to understand the surface water of the temperature is extremely high and that's why it is expanding. Vibrio thrives in warm waters where rivers and the ocean water mix. Doctors say the virus can enter the body through an open cut or wound. Raw seafood like shellfish and oysters can also lead to serious infections. I'll be a land dweller the rest of my life. Last year, Bo Cook was infected with the rare flesh eating bacteria. It took me to emergency surgery. And that's when they told my wife, you better call in the kids, any family, that we don't think he's gonna make it. He spent 40 days in the hospital and underwent half a dozen surgeries. I love Baldwin County, but I don't wanna be in the water no more. In Florida, Vibrio fulnificus has infected 565 people and killed 149 since 2008. That's according to the state health department. The Centers for Disease Control says about one in five people who get the infection actually die from it. Researchers believe this year could get worse. I will not be surprised to see that this bacteria will be causing more infections and unfortunately death. So, Marky, we are certainly not trying to scare anyone. This is still very uh, extremely rare, right? But health officials say uh, if you can, you have a cut or an open wound, avoid going in waters like these. Also, uh, watch out for the, that specific shellfish or, or oysters that you're eating uh, when you're out by the water. Uh, Mark, I'll send it over to you. Yeah, gosh. Uh, Xavier, thanks for those updates um, and keeping us surprised. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.